Hey guys, this is a video on logical expressions. So here we have the question. We want to use the laws of logic to show that the following logical expression is a tautology. So here's the following logical expression. It says P implies Q and P implies Q. And we want to show that it's a tautology, which means that this statement equates to true. So what we want to show is P implies Q and P. Let me make sure I put that Q like that. All of that implies Q. And we want to show that's logically equivalent using some steps in between here. We want to show that's logically equivalent to true. Uh, I put T here, so, or you can put true here. Um, but usually you'll see T for true and uh, F for false. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I'm going to use um, the implication law. implication or the definition of implication and what this is going to do here we're going to change that expression here so uh, now I'm going to put the equivalent sign over here so we know what our expression is going to change to it's going to change to not P or Q and P implies Q so you can see that this expression here changed all right, so next, what do we want to use? Uh, we probably want to use the distributive law. And of course, you can start anywhere. You don't have to start with implication, but it's just how I see it to, to start um, uh, doing this proof. So now we're doing distribution. So our expression is equivalent to not P and P. Uh, or Q and P, and all of that implies Q. Okay, so let's see. Next up, we probably want to use the uh, negation law, and that's for this small expression there. So now, what we're going to get is Let's see, not P and P, that's going to be false. I'm going to put F for false. And, um, or Q and P. All of that, in the parentheses, implies Q. Okay, so let's look here. What we want to use next, I say we use the identity law. And that'll get rid of this F for us. So now it's going to be equivalent to uh, Q and P implies Q. So you can see the expression we just got rid of was here. We got rid of that false using the identity law. Okay, so I'm going to put another line here so we can continue with our proof. And so this is what we have right now, Q and P implies Q. Q. So what we probably want to do now is use the uh, implication definition. Implication. So what we get now is we get not Q and P or Q. Okay. So Next up, we probably want to use uh, De Morgan's Law. De Morgan's Law. And De Morgan's Law will distribute that uh, negative sign, or that not, I'm sorry, not negative, but the not of uh, this expression. So what we're going to get is not Q or not P or Q. So you can see uh, this expression was just distributed. All right, so let's see what other law we would use here. That was the Morgan's. So now let's use the, um, I think probably the associative law or the commutative law. So 
first what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, commutative law. Usually I do this in one step, both the commutative and the associative. But using the commutative law, our expression is going to be uh, not P or not Q or Q. So you can see I just moved um, the expression in here around. Okay, so next up we want to use the associative law. And this right here will give us uh, not P or not Q or Q. Okay, so now what we probably want to do is use the negation law uh, for this expression here. And so we get not P or uh, not Q or not Q would be true. Okay. And last but not least, we'll use the domination law. And so now our expression is just true. So thank you guys. I hope this video was helpful. Um, please leave questions and comments um, and please subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.